Hey guys and welcome back to a new episode of our survival game tutorial series. Um, in this episode we are trying to create a falling animation and um, in addition we want to add fall damage to our character and for that we need a health component. Okay, um, so let's start with the falling animation. Um, yeah, let, let's switch over to Mixamo. And in here, when you type in falling, you should find uh, yeah those animations. And I will pick this falling idle animation. And yeah, just uh, just download it. And you could pick this uh, falling to landing animation too. And yeah, okay. Okay, be sure uh, to select a human character skeleton um, when you're importing. Okay, and after you have imported uh, those animations, um, let's create a new um, blend space. To do this, uh, just select our um, yeah our um, skeletal mesh, create blend space 1D this time, and call it falling underscore bs, and let's move it uh, to into our uh, animations folder. <clears throat> and in here, just um, yeah name this one maybe z velocity okay um, I think 100 is okay um, we could just choose one but well I think 100 is better um, okay and our minimum value is minus 100 um, okay great now just pick our um, falling idle animation and drag it uh, onto minus 100 and our jumping animation jump loop and put it uh, onto 100. So when you're falling you uh, see this animation and when you're just uh, jumping you would see this animation over here. Okay great. Um, now let's switch over to our um, animation blueprint and well we also need our um, third person character open them up and in here we want a new function and let's call it um, get vertical speed and uh, this should just return a float called vertical speed and to get the vertical speed of our character we need to get his uh, velocity vector just drag our character a uh, movement component into here and drag a wire out and type in get velocity and from here just break it and now we have our uh, z uh, velocity and just drag it into here and this should be it um, okay great now inside of our uh, animation blueprint let's switch over to our um, event graph and in here um, yeah okay Let's just uh, drag a wire, drag a wire uh, from our third-person character and type in get vertical speed. Uh, this can be a pure function, so just check pure. And now create a, a variable of it and name it vertical speed. Okay. So actually, uh, we don't really need our is falling um, boolean. So yeah, just delete it, compile again. And now switch over uh, to our anim graph. Okay, now open up a uh, jump loop. And here in jump loop, just drag in our um, blend space, our falling blend space. And let's take our uh, vertical speed and clamp it to minus 100 and 100. And this should be it. And now in a jump end, just get our vertical speed and uh, get our um, falling to landing animation. And now check if our vertical speed is greater than zero. Um, if that's the case, uh, we should say blend by pool, blend pauses by pool. Um, if it's higher than zero, drag this into true and this uh, into false 
well, maybe even higher than minus one. Um, it does not really matter. Um, okay, this is okay. Um, well, let's test it. Press play and let's run around and jump. And you can see that he has two different animations. Um, one for jumping and the other one for falling. Um, well, okay, uh, I think we can go into our um, into our event graph and drag this out and well, okay, just right click and type in print string, connect both of them and let's take a look at it. Okay. Maybe we can even um, adjust it. So uh, you saw that the speed um, is around 300 to minus 300. Um, so I think let's change this to maybe minus 150 and 150. Okay. Um, and go into our um, jump loop. And our uh, um, min is minus 150 and our max is 150. Um, okay. Well, okay, this works. Um, quite cool, I guess. Um, yeah. And now, before we start with our health system, um, just open up our character again. And in here, just uh, change the crouching speed. Um, well, I think we can create variables for that. So create a new variable, max or max uh, running speed. That's a float. And with control W, you can duplicate it and name it max um, crouching speed. Okay. And our max running speed is around 1000 and just connect this. And our max crouching speed should be somewhere around maybe 250. Okay. And now uh, just copy this and this over here and connect this and yeah, just, just drag out our max uh, crouching speed. And that should be it. Um, well, if we start to crouch now, we are moving way slower than when we're just walking. Well, yeah, you can see a, a small difference. And of course, when we're running, uh, we are pretty fast. Um, okay, cool. So let's start with the health component. Um, yeah, well, I think I will just create a new folder, name it actor components, and in here create new folder, or oh, well, maybe we don't even need another subfolder, and just right click and um, blueprint class and select actor component and name it health component. Okay. Um, I think in here we need some more variables. Um, first of all health, of course. This is a float. Then our max value for the health. Let's set it to 100 as the default value. And our health too. Um, of course you can uh, make it editable. Both of it. These are the two main variables in our component. Um, but I think we need, yeah, maybe a boolean called is that. Um, yeah. And another boolean should regenerate. And maybe even another float called uh, regenerate or just regen um, rate. Load and our region uh, rate. Um, if our region rate would be a uh, one, we would regenerate a uh, one health point uh, every single second. And uh, to set this up, there's a little trick for which we don't even need a new uh, timer. Just drag it out, 
from Avgen play I drag a new wire out and type in tick and in here you should see the function set component tick interval and just take it and connect this both okay and now our uh, event tick would be called every second and not really uh, every tick so this should be okay um great MR should regenerate and boolean should be a uh, true as a default value and of course is that should be false um maybe we need another variable called um region points yeah and set this to maybe yeah also one okay and now we need some functions uh, for example at health so just type in at health and as an input we need our, uh, a float and call this one um, additional health maybe and drag out our normal health component get it and with uh, alt and left click you can just drag it out and you have the setter now uh, add those values well and clamp it to well where do we have it clamp clamp float to a min of a zero and a max of our max health and now set the set the health and this should be it um well of course you could uh, add a function called uh, damage and you would just yeah do the same thing but at health it should be okay and if we want to damage our character we would just uh, input a negative value so uh, this should work if he's dead uh, just yeah set our boolean is that too true to check this uh, just press b and left click to create a branch and connect it and connect this and if our health is less equal or well actually we just need equal and um, because we have uh, uh we have plant the value over here and um, so if our health is null just set our is death to true okay and then we uh, don't want to regenerate anymore because we are dead so we can't regenerate from that um okay i think this should be it more or less um the last thing we need is our regeneration so to do this I just well check if we want to regenerate so I should regenerate if it's true let's um, get our regenerate uh, no just get our regen points get it and say at health okay and maybe yeah okay let's, uh, let's do, do this too uh, drag a wire out um, type in end and just control um, if his health is less than his uh, max health so to do this just drag out the health uh, less than max health and connect this and this should be it compile it save it and now just uh, inside of our character just add a component health component and in here we see all those values and this is okay for now um well i think uh, the only thing we need to do is to apply a uh, fall damage to our character and to do this uh, open up uh, the event graph and in here type in damage event any damage and if our third person character uh, gets damaged we want to get his health component and say add health and take the damage and multiply it by minus one to make it negative and drag this into here and well that should be it for now um for our fall damage uh, just right click and type in land event on landed and from here we want to get his vertical speed and if his vertical speed let's say is greater than 
um, or well, less than um, minus 350, uh, 450. If that's the case, let's apply some damage. Um, and we want to calculate the, the damage with our um, vertical speed. And let's add um, 450 on that one to make it now. And if it's uh, maybe yeah 500, he would receive 50 damage. Um, yeah, maybe we could even divide this by two. So now he would receive uh, 25 damage and I think that's okay. Just say uh, apply damage and uh, the damage actor is self and base damage is this and if that's true um, well that should be it maybe we can even say okay print string um, as red something like this well more like this and the string is yeah our damage but yeah the negative value and now just where's our tick function, uh, our tick event? I don't know. Do we even have it? I don't think so. Create uh, our tick event then. Event tick. And in here, just drag out a wire, print string, and where do we have it? Um, our health component over here. And get health. Okay maybe this one in yeah light green and now just play we have 100 health points and if we jump down the problem is we should see a negative value so uh, yeah a problem is that we have uh, input a negative value here and in here we will just multiply it by minus one again to make it positive and to fix it just um, yeah, divided by minus 2 and now when we play yeah, minus 144 and we could maybe um, yeah, adjust this a little bit to minus 600 and plus 600 and now let's get our event tick and connect this again and well maybe create new stairs Okay, if I jump now, we got damage applied and as you see every second we regenerate uh, one health point and maybe if you want to change this just go in, just go into our third person character and in here maybe we want to regenerate every second um, just a half health point, okay. So maybe from here, okay, that was not enough. Yeah, okay, you could see uh, we got a uh, minus five health points and we regenerated just a half a health point every second. And um, maybe jump, let's jump from here. Okay, now we should be dead. Uh, as you can see, uh, we don't regenerate anymore, but well, nothing really happens when we are dead so we will change uh, this in data tutorials but yeah the basic health system uh, works for now um, if you like the video just leave a like and see you guys later